Imagine going through life believing that every setback, every challenge, is actually setting you up for something greater. This might sound like just another inspirational quote, but what if I told you that this isn't just a feel-good mantra, but a principle deeply rooted in an ancient philosophy that has stood the test of time? Yes, I'm talking about Stoicism, a philosophy that doesn't just teach us how to endure life's battles, but actually embrace them transforming our struggles into our strengths. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of Stoicism, uncovering how this timeless wisdom can be not just a beacon of light during our darkest times, but a daily guide to living with purpose and resilience. Whether you're facing personal trials, professional challenges, or just the everyday chaos of life, Stoic teachings offer a roadmap to not just surviving, but thriving. They show us that the power to lead a fulfilling life lies not in changing our circumstances, but in changing our response to them. If you've ever felt like you're constantly battling against the tide, wondered how to find peace amidst the storm, or been curious about how ancient wisdom can illuminate our modern lives, then you're in the right place. Join me as we explore how to harness the principles of Stoicism to transform our challenges into our greatest victories, learning to live with intention integrity, and an indomitable spirit. Let's embark on this journey together, discovering how to turn the obstacles in our path into stepping stones toward our greatest evolution. 1. Question your own limits. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to settle into a routine and unconsciously set boundaries for ourselves. These limits, often self-imposed, can keep us from reaching our full potential. Have you ever caught yourself thinking, this is as far as I can go, or I can't do that? These thoughts are symptoms of a common theme in many of our lives where we coast through days, weeks, or even years without really questioning the boundaries we've set for ourselves. Stoicism invites us to challenge these limits by asking a potent question, why not? This simple yet powerful query can unravel layers of complacency and fear that hold us back. The Stoics were proactive, constantly examining their lives, decisions, and actions through a lens of virtue and self-improvement. When faced with a challenge or a decision, a Stoic would ask themselves, why not take the path that leads to growth? This isn't about reckless risk-taking. It's about conscious, deliberate choices that align with our core values and our higher selves. When you find yourself at a crossroads, Feeling hesitant or uncertain about stepping into the unknown or up-leveling your efforts? Pause and ask yourself, why not? Why not strive for that promotion, start that project, or take that leap of faith towards your dreams? It's in these moments of decision that our destinies are shaped. Asking why not isn't just about facing external challenges. It's also about confronting the internal narratives that limit us. It's about challenging the self-doubt the fear of failure, and the comfort of the status quo. It's a call to action, urging you to rise above mediocrity and embrace the potential for greatness that resides within you. Remember, every stoic hero you've ever read about, from Marcus Aurelius to Seneca, embraced challenges as opportunities for growth. They didn't settle for a life of ease and comfort. They sought out the path of virtue, resilience, and personal excellence by asking yourself, why not? You're stepping into the arena, ready to engage fully with life, to grow, learn, and emerge stronger and wiser. The next time you catch yourself hesitating, remember that you have the power to redefine the narrative. You have the strength to push beyond your perceived limits. Embrace the stoic mindset, ask yourself, why not? And see just how far your curiosity, courage, and commitment can take you. Two. Be obsessed with getting better. In the realm of Stoicism, the relentless pursuit of improvement aligns perfectly with the concept of prohoresis, the idea of making consistent progress, or being a work in progress. The Stoics believed in focusing on what they could control, namely, their virtues, actions, and responses to external events. They weren't after perfection, they were after progress. And that's what Stoicism urges us to chase. Consistent, relentless progress. Improvement is at the heart of everything meaningful, 
Whether it's refining your skills at work, deepening your relationships, or cultivating inner peace, the essence of a fulfilling life is growth. When you're obsessed with improving, you're inherently aligned with the stoic virtue of self-mastery. You're committed to the journey of becoming your best self, not for accolades or external validation, but because it's the most authentic expression of living according to your principles. However, being obsessed with improving isn't about being harsh or unforgiving with yourself. It's about embracing a compassionate, persistent dedication to your growth. It's about celebrating the small victories while staying hungry for the next level of your evolution. And yes, there will be setbacks and failures along the way, but in true stoic fashion, you'll see these not as defeats, but as invaluable lessons and stepping stones on your path to improvement. So, how do you cultivate this obsession with improvement? Start by setting clear, intentional goals that resonate with your core values. Reflect daily on your actions and decisions, asking yourself how they align with your aspirations for growth. Embrace challenges as opportunities to stretch your limits and learn. And most importantly, stay curious and open-minded, always willing to adapt and refine your approach. The journey of self-improvement is infinite. There's always another layer to explore, another skill to master, another virtue to embody. In this unending quest, we find our greatest joy and fulfillment. Embrace this obsession with improving, not just as a means to an end, but as a way of life. As we journey together on this path, let's support and inspire each other to reach new heights, to become the architects of our destiny, and to live each day with purpose, passion, and an unquenchable thirst for growth. 3. Pour your heart into it. Stoics are known for their resilience, steadfastness, and unyielding commitment to their values. When they commit to something, they give it their all, not for the sake of accolades or recognition, but because they understand that total commitment is the essence of living a virtuous, meaningful life. They don't half-heartedly engage with their duties or passions. Instead, they pour their entire being into their endeavors, embodying the principle that the worth of our actions lies not in their outcomes, but in the depth of our commitment. Giving it all you've got is about channeling your energy, focus, and efforts into your pursuits, whatever they may be. It's about waking up each day and deciding that you're not going to coast through life on autopilot, but instead, you're going to actively shape your destiny with your thoughts, choices, and actions. It's about not just dreaming big, but also acting big taking those bold, decisive steps that propel you forward even when the path is fraught with challenges and uncertainties. However, giving it all you've got isn't just about what you do. It's also about how you do it. It's about approaching your tasks, relationships, and self-improvement with sincerity, passion, and integrity. It's about being fully present and engaged, whether you're working on a project, spending time with loved ones, or reflecting on your personal growth. And when obstacles arise, as they inevitably will, it's about facing them with courage and resilience, drawing on your inner strength to push through adversity. So how can you start giving it all you've got in your own life? Begin by identifying what truly matters to you, your core values, your most cherished goals, and your deepest passions. Then commit to pursuing these with all your heart and soul. Set high standards for yourself and strive to meet them each day, not out of a sense of obligation, but because you're driven by a genuine desire to live fully and authentically. Remember, giving it all you've got isn't a one-time act. It's a way of life. It's a choice you make every day in every moment with every breath. As you embrace this philosophy, you'll discover that it not only propels you toward your goals, but also brings a profound sense of fulfillment and purpose to your journey. 4. Stay on your path. We live in a world brimming with distractions, temptations, and plenty of reasons to veer off course. But here's where the true magic happens. When you commit to your path, despite all the noise and chaos around you, you're taking a stand for something greater. You're honoring your journey, your values, and ultimately, yourself. 
Stoics understood that life is fraught with distractions that can lead us astray from our true purpose, but they also knew the power of staying the course, of remaining steadfast in their commitment to their principles and goals. For a Stoic, staying on your path wasn't just about personal achievement. It was a matter of integrity and character. It means being clear about your direction in life, knowing what you stand for, what you're striving toward, and what kind of person you want to be. It means setting your sights on your North Star and navigating by it, even when storms arise and the waters get choppy. However, staying on your path doesn't mean being rigid or inflexible. Life is unpredictable, and part of staying true to your course is being adaptable, learning from your experiences, and adjusting your sails when necessary. What matters is that these adjustments are always in alignment with your core values and ultimate vision. To ensure you're staying on your path, it starts with self-awareness. Take time to reflect on your values, goals, and vision for your life. Write them down, revisit them often, and use them as your compass. Cultivate the discipline to make choices that are aligned with your path, even when they're challenging or unpopular. And remember, resilience is key. When you encounter obstacles or setbacks, view them as opportunities to strengthen your resolve and deepen your commitment to your journey. Staying on your path is about honoring your true self and your highest aspirations. It's about committing to your journey with unwavering dedication, embracing the challenges and uncertainties along the way, and continually striving to live in alignment with your deepest values. By doing so, you create a life of purpose, integrity, and fulfillment guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. 5. Don't focus on outcomes. In our goal-oriented society, we're often taught to keep our eyes on the prize, measuring success by the results we achieve. However, Stoicism offers a profoundly liberating perspective that can transform our approach to life and our understanding of success. Don't focus on outcomes. The Stoics teach us that there are things within our control and things beyond it. Our efforts, intentions, and attitudes are up to us. But the outcomes often involve factors that are out of our hands. When we fixate on results, we set ourselves up for frustration, disappointment, and even despair because we're clinging to something we can't truly command. Shifting your focus away from outcomes means pouring your heart and soul into your endeavors, giving your best to the task at hand, whether it's a project at work, a personal goal, or a relationship. It means engaging fully with the process, embracing the challenges and learning opportunities it presents, without being overly attached to the final result. Imagine how liberating it feels to do your work with passion and diligence, not because of what it might bring you in terms of rewards or recognition, but simply because you believe in what you're doing. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, finding satisfaction and meaning in your actions themselves not just in their potential fruits. Not focusing on outcomes doesn't mean being indifferent to success or failing to set goals. Instead, it's about redefining success in terms of your own actions and character. Did you act with integrity, courage, and commitment? Did you grow and learn? These are the true measures of success in the Stoic view. To incorporate this mindset into your life, begin by reflecting on your values and the kind of person you want to be. Set your goals with these in mind, focusing more on the qualities you want to cultivate and the actions you want to take, rather than the external rewards you hope to gain. When you find yourself getting anxious about outcomes, gently remind yourself of what's truly in your control and try to redirect your energy toward your efforts and attitudes. By embracing this stoic principle, you free yourself from the tyranny of external validation and find a deeper, more sustainable source of fulfillment. You gain a profound sense of empowerment and peace by focusing on what you can control. This shift in perspective allows you to experience a more meaningful and authentic life, where your sense of achievement comes from within, based on your own values and efforts. This principle of not focusing on outcomes is particularly valuable in today's fast-paced world where success is often measured by external standards such as wealth, status, or popularity. By adopting a stoic mindset, 
you redefine success in personal and internal terms, aligning it with your virtues and integrity. This approach not only reduces stress and anxiety, but also enhances your resilience, enabling you to navigate life's ups and downs with equanimity and grace. 6. You attract what you embody. Imagine living your life as a mirror, reflecting not just what you project outwardly, but also what resides within you. If you're filled with negativity, fear, or bitterness, these traits can taint your experiences and interactions. Conversely, if you cultivate virtues like kindness, resilience, and integrity, these qualities will shine through in your life, attracting positive experiences and relationships. The Stoics emphasize the importance of developing a strong, virtuous character, because they understood that this is the foundation upon which a good life is built. They believed that you cannot control the world around you, but you can control who you choose to be within that world. By focusing on being the best version of yourself, you naturally create a life that reflects those qualities. To embody this principle of you attract what you are in your daily life, start by engaging in regular self-reflection. Examine your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors critically, but compassionately, identifying areas where you can grow and improve. Actively cultivate virtues that resonate with you, whether that's courage in the face of adversity, perseverance in pursuit of your goals, or compassion towards others. Remember, this isn't about being perfect or never making mistakes. It's about being conscious of your internal state and its external manifestations. It's about striving to align your actions with your highest values and principles, even when it's challenging. When you embody positive qualities, you not only improve your own life, but also positively influence those around you. Your behavior sets an example, inspiring others to cultivate similar virtues. This ripple effect creates a supportive and uplifting environment, reinforcing the stoic belief that individual virtue contributes to the greater good. Moreover, when you falter, as we all do, it's about having the humility and resilience to learn from your experiences and continue your journey of self-improvement. By embracing this stoic wisdom, you empower yourself to be the architect of your reality. You recognize that while you can't control everything that happens to you, you have immense power over how you respond and who you choose to be. As you align your being with your highest ideals, you'll find that the world around you begins to reflect that same quality and depth. This alignment not only enhances your personal fulfillment, but also fosters a sense of purpose and connection with others, creating a harmonious and balanced life. 7. Embrace the challenge. In life, we all face obstacles and challenges, from minor inconveniences to monumental setbacks. Our instinctive reactions might be frustration, discouragement, or even despair. However, Stoicism offers a transformative perspective. To view these obstacles as hidden gifts, as catalysts for personal development and self-discovery. When the Stoics spoke of obstacles, they fully acknowledged the pain and difficulty that challenges can bring. Yet they believed that within every obstacle lies the seed of an equal or greater benefit. It's not the obstacle itself that defines our experience, but our reaction to it. By choosing to see the obstacle as a pathway, we shift from being passive victims of our circumstances to active, empowered agents of change. To apply the principle of the obstacle is the way in your daily life, start by reframing your perspective. When you encounter a challenge, pause and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this situation help me grow? Instead of allowing obstacles to drain your energy and spirit, use them as stepping stones to build resilience, creativity, and perseverance. Embrace the understanding that the most rewarding paths often include the steepest climbs, the struggles you endure, the barriers you overcome, and the persistence you exhibit all contribute to your character development and personal narrative. Each obstacle is an opportunity to practice virtues like patience, courage, and adaptability, shaping you into a stronger, wiser individual. Moreover, remember that overcoming obstacles often requires innovative thinking and a willingness to venture off the beaten path. It's in these moments of trial 
that we're pushed to expand our horizons, to think outside the box, and to discover new strengths we didn't know we had. In embracing the Stoic approach to obstacles, we also cultivate a sense of gratitude for the growth they enable. We learn to appreciate the journey with all its twists and turns, recognizing that the most profound lessons are often learned in the face of adversity. 8. Do what little you can. In the grand tapestry of life, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the scale of our ambitions or the complexity of the challenges we face. We might think, what difference can my small contribution possibly make? But here's the thing. Every big achievement is the sum of its parts, each one crafted by individual, seemingly insignificant actions. The Stoics understood that we don't control the grand outcomes. We control our choices moment by moment. They teach us to focus on the present, to do what is right and necessary now, without becoming paralyzed by the size of the task at hand or overly fixated on the distant goal. Do what little you can is a call to action, urging us to engage with life actively and purposefully, no matter how small or humble our contributions may seem. To live out this principle, start by breaking down your larger goals into smaller, actionable steps. Focus on what you can achieve today, even if it's just one tiny step forward. Remember, it's about consistency and persistence, not the size of the action. Each small step is a building block, creating a foundation that will ultimately support your larger aspirations. Moreover, this stoic mindset encourages us to find value and meaning in the process itself, not just the end result. When we focus on doing what little we can, we become more present, more engaged, and often more effective. We learn to appreciate the journey with all its twists and turns, recognizing that growth and fulfillment come from our daily efforts and attitudes. In embracing this philosophy, we also cultivate humility and resilience. We acknowledge that we are not all-powerful, but we also affirm our agency and impact. We learn to be resourceful, to adapt, and to persevere, even when progress seems slow or invisible. By consistently doing what little we can, we build momentum and create a ripple effect, contributing to meaningful change in our lives and the world around us. 9. Change Your Definition of Success In a world where success is often measured by material wealth, job titles, or social media followers, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. But what if we took a step back and reevaluated our criteria for success? The Stoics teach us that true success is not about acquiring things or impressing others. It's about developing a strong character, living in accordance with nature, and fulfilling our roles as human beings. It's about being honest, just, courageous, and wise, regardless of our circumstances. This approach to success is incredibly empowering because it places the power firmly in our own hands. We may not be able to control the economy, the job market, or the opinions of others, but we can always control our own virtues and actions. To start changing your definition of success, begin with introspection. Take some time to reflect on what you truly value and what kind of person you want to be. Consider the qualities you admire in others and aspire to develop in yourself. Then set goals that align with these values, focusing on your personal growth and how you can contribute positively to the lives of others. Redefining success also means learning to appreciate the process, not just the outcome. Celebrate your efforts, resilience, and progress, even if they don't lead to immediate rewards. Remember, success in Stoicism is as much about how you face challenges and setbacks as it is about achieving your goals. It's about maintaining your integrity and equanimity, regardless of external conditions. Additionally, changing your definition of success can lead to greater fulfillment and happiness. When you're not constantly chasing external validation, you're free to focus on what truly brings you joy and satisfaction. You'll likely find that pursuing virtue and meaningful engagement with the world is far more rewarding than any external achievement could ever be. This shift in perspective allows you to live a life that is true to your deepest values, fostering a sense of inner peace and contentment. 10. 
avoid seeking approval. In a society where so much emphasis is placed on approval and validation from others, it's easy to lose ourselves, to forget our core values and motivations in the pursuit of being liked. But Stoicism offers a powerful antidote to this external orientation, reminding us that our worth and our choices should be grounded in our own principles and virtues, not in the fleeting opinions of others. The Stoics teach us that seeking approval can be a form of enslavement. We become hostages to the whims and judgments of others, allowing their perceptions to dictate our actions and our self-esteem. But when we liberate ourselves from this need for external validation, we gain a profound sense of freedom and authenticity. We can act according to our own values and beliefs, pursuing what we genuinely think is right and meaningful, regardless of whether it wins us popularity or praise. To start detaching your actions from the desire to be liked, first and foremost, develop a strong sense of self-awareness. Understand your motivations, distinguishing between actions driven by a desire for external validation and those rooted in your true self. This isn't always easy. It requires honesty and introspection, but it's a crucial step toward living a more authentic and fulfilling life. Next, cultivate confidence in your own judgments and decisions. The Stoics emphasize the importance of reason and wisdom in guiding our actions. When we trust our own reasoning and align our actions with our reasoned convictions, we become less dependent on others' approval. We can stand firm in our choices, even when they're unpopular or misunderstood, because we know they're grounded in our deepest principles. It's also important to embrace the idea that not being liked by everyone is not only okay, but also normal and inevitable. We are all unique individuals with our own values, beliefs, and perspectives. It's impossible to please everyone, and trying to do so would require us to be constantly changing and adapting to others' expectations, losing our sense of self in the process. By focusing on being authentic and true to ourselves, we attract the right kind of relationships, those based on genuine respect and shared values. And even when we face criticism or rejection, we can take solace in knowing that we're living with integrity, true to our Stoic principles. 11. Reject Distractions In a world that constantly demands our time, attention, and energy, learning to say no is an invaluable skill. It's not just about rejecting things we don't want to do. It's about affirming our priorities, our values, and our autonomy. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what's truly important and within our control. And sometimes that means declining requests, opportunities, or even demands that don't align with our core values. The Stoics were advocates of living in accordance with nature, which included recognizing and honoring our own limits. They understood that our time and energy are finite resources and that we must be judicious in how we allocate them. Saying no, then, becomes a crucial exercise in discernment, a way of ensuring that we're dedicating ourselves to what's genuinely meaningful and beneficial, not just what's urgent or requested of us. However, saying no can be incredibly challenging. It requires courage, especially when we're conditioned to please or when we fear missing out or disappointing others. But the Stoic approach teaches us to value our own judgment and to make decisions based on reason and virtue, not on fear or social pressure. When we say no from a place of calm conviction, we're not just declining an offer. We're making a profound statement about our priorities and our commitment to living authentically. To get better at saying no, start with clarity. Know what you stand for, what you value, and what goals you're pursuing. When you have a clear sense of your direction and your principles, it becomes easier to identify which requests align with your path and which don't. And remember, saying no doesn't have to be harsh or confrontational. It can be done with kindness and respect, expressing gratitude for the offer while firmly declining. Moreover, practicing saying no can be liberating. It frees you from unnecessary burdens and commitments, allowing you to focus on what truly matters. It also builds self-respect as you learn to honor your own needs and boundaries. And perhaps, surprisingly, it can lead to greater respect from others, who will recognize your clarity of purpose 
and your integrity. 12. Let it go with indifference. How can one truly let go with indifference? It's about understanding and internalizing the distinction between what we can control and what we can't. We can control our efforts, our attitudes, and our virtues, but we can't control the outcomes, the actions of others, or the whims of fate. When we truly grasp this, we begin to free ourselves from the frustration, anxiety, and disappointment that come from clinging to things beyond our control. But let's be clear. Letting go with indifference doesn't mean not caring about anything. It means caring deeply about the right things, the things that are truly up to us, and accepting the rest with equanimity. It's about investing our energy wisely, pouring our passion and efforts into our actions, and letting go of our attachment to the results. Imagine how much lighter you would feel if you stopped agonizing over every little thing that didn't go your way, if you stopped getting entangled in dramas that don't truly concern your core duties and values. This is the liberation that Stoicism offers, a path to inner peace and resilience, no matter what life throws your way. To cultivate the art of letting go with indifference, start with mindfulness. Pay attention to your reactions and gently remind yourself to distinguish between what's in your power and what's not. Practice involves this as well. Like any skill worth mastering, start small with the trivial instances of daily life and gradually work your way up to bigger challenges. As you practice, you'll likely discover something remarkable. The less you try to control the uncontrollable, the more control you actually have over yourself and your responses you'll find a new sense of calm and clarity, even in the midst of chaos. Embracing the wisdom of Stoicism, you learn that your greatest strength lies within, in your ability to choose your response, to focus on what truly matters, and to let go with grace. The path to tranquility and fulfillment is not found in external accolades or possessions, but in the cultivation of virtue, resilience, and inner peace.